as you see with a simple search, asking about Nintendo 64 performance on the Raspberry Pi 3, whether it's Recall Box or Retro Pi, is a commonly asked question. Uh, Joe, I love Retro Pi, but I do have some issues with Nintendo 64. Um, help, please, jo Jerome says, an N64 runs terrible. Anybody have the updated compatibility list for Nintendo 64? Does anyone have luck with N64 or do we even mess with it? Having issues with N64 emulation on my retro Pi. Any point of emulator in N64 seems so jerky to me. How does N64 games play on retro Pi work downloading? Question mark. So N64 on retro Pi is a subject that brings a lot of hope and frustration. Can you guys help me figure out optimization, please? As you saw, Nintendo 64 performance on the Raspberry Pi 3 brings up a lot of heated debates. And I have to tell you right now, there's still a lot of the games that will run on a stock Raspberry Pi 3. And if you do overclock, you will see some significant performance um, gains. Uh, as you see here, I'm running stock 1.2 gigahertz Raspberry Pi 3, and 1080 snowboarding is totally playable. Mario Kart is totally playable. Many of your favorite classic Nintendo 64 games are playable on the stock system. When it comes to games like Wave Race, an overclock really does increase the performance and make a game that's before on stock clock, you know, maybe not worth playing, with after the overclock, totally worth playing. Now in this video though, I recently had the opportunity to play with Recall Box, which I'm finding a lot of really good performance on the Nintendo 64 emulation in particular and what I'm going to do is show you GoldenEye which is a really really laggy game so to see the slight performance increases you're going to see from a 1.2 gigahertz to 1.3 and 1.35 I'm going to go ahead and turn on those frames per second reading so you'll be able to see that as we go through videos and gameplay but uh, as you see here you know it looks decent and it runs pretty well uh, but let's see something maybe a little more intensive on the CPU and how that's going to run at the different overclock settings. All right, so as you can see, we are on stock clock 1.2 gigahertz. Um, as far as the game settings, uh, game smoothing is on and it's running the default recall box emulator on here. Um, sorry for the clickety clack on the keys on this first part. Got to turn around. Dipping a lot there. <laughs> 
All right, so as you see, that was on a stock 1.2 gigahertz Pi 3. It actually runs pretty decent compared to a lot of other RetroPie in the early stages of RetroPie. Um, there's definitely been big improvements on the emulation front, and that has the ability to really uh, improve. Now let's go ahead and go to 1.3, which is a high overclock. You, most people can run this no problem at all. Um, and here you can see the frames as well. So let's check this one out. All right, I'm just messing around at this point. Um, as you saw, a, a significant improvement. We had some frames go up. Um, anytime you have a lot of things on the screen in this game, it's going to lag. Um, you could totally play multiplayer in this game as well on the Raspberry Pi 3. And uh, basically where I find the most amount of lag is the video scenes are a little laggy. And then uh, like bazooka blasts and explosions tend to really lag out this machine. So on some of the levels where you're um, exploding boxes and things like that, you're gonna see the biggest amount of lag. But as you saw, a considerable improvement, and as long as you have even just a mild cooling on your Raspberry Pi 3, you'll be able to do the 1.3 no problem, and uh, you can run it for uh, you know hours on end. But now we're gonna go to Turbo, and you're gonna see you get a warning message here, because this is a little bit more uh, strain on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, you will want a little bit more advanced cooling for this, especially long periods of gameplay. Let's check this one out. Pop. 
You had one job, dude. All right, there you have it. Three different overclock settings, all the same emulator for N64 settings, all the same image, all the same Raspberry Pi. Um, I mean, you saw it. Significant performance increase in Nintendo 64, uh, especially GoldenEye. And think about games that already run at like 95%. It really just takes them up to that 100% emulation with a with a slight overclock um, so this is going to be similar um, performance increases in most games um, you know as far as like percentages i would say you know it's a 10 to 20 percent increase so if a game was at like 80 percent playability it's definitely going to go up there up to 90 for example but there are going to be some games where you know even with these uh, aggressive overclocks you're still going to get lag no matter what that's just kind of the limitations of the raspberry pi 3 um, that may change in the future, especially as emulation gets better, the software is more optimized. But for the time being, this is it. I really do think that there's some great N64 titles that do play on the Raspberry Pi 3. So uh, keep an open mind. Just don't have um, high expectations. But, you know, in my mind, there's a, at least a third of the catalog that is totally, totally playable. So don't tell people, no, it's not possible. Just tell them, you know, with limited success. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.